What's up guys, this is Viper coming to you with more CSGO skin making tips. Guys, this video is finally here. I've been asked to make this video countless times, so here it is, how to make a skin with a glowing effect. Glowing effect is when certain parts of a skin glow when exposed to light at certain angles. With this effect you can create blinking buttons, or burning fire, or anything that your imagination can come up with. The effect can also make those parts of the skin glow when the weapon is shooting, but that only applies to machine guns. So, how do we achieve this effect? The answer is, in the normal maps. But, in order to know how exactly to do it, we first need to have a better understanding of normal maps. So, what are normal maps? Normal maps allow you to give height details to your texture, and it does so by determining the angle at which light reflects off of a surface. So, when we see a certain part of a texture looking the same, followed by another part that goes darker, followed by another part that goes lighter, our minds interpret this as a change in height in the texture. Let's see how a normal map does that. I made three objects, one is completely flat, the second has the sides raised a little bit, and the third has the sides raised at almost 90 degrees. When we bake the second object onto the flat surface, this is the normal map that we get. The colors we see represent the angles at which the sides are set. Now, if we bake the third object onto the flat surface, those are the colors that we get. We can see that in this case, the colors are stronger than in the previous case because the angles are steeper than before. We can see the colors that normal maps use in this normal map of a cone. Each color represents a different angle. The more high poly a mesh is, the more colors you will see. That's why in the square shaped objects we saw earlier, we only saw 4 colors, while in the cones case, we see much more. Now, keeping all this in mind, let's go back to the glowing effect. How do we achieve it using normal maps? Well, it's more or less the same way you achieve the height and depth effects. When you have light pointing at one side of a shape, it will be bright and the other side will look dark. And if the light moves to the other side, then the dark side will become bright and vice versa. And that's what the glowing effect is about. At certain lighting it looks brighter, while at others it looks darker. So what this means is that all we need to do to achieve the glowing effect is to paint the normal of a certain area with one of the colors we saw in the previous normal maps. I usually use colors that represent steep angles as it makes the effect stronger. We can also use two different opposing colors on two different areas. This will make the effect on those areas alternate. When one area is bright, the other will be dark, and vice versa. Let's see everything I explained in action. I created this router skin for the sawed-off. Let's see how we can make the lights of the Wi-Fi and the DSL blink in an opposing manner. After I created the skin and baked the diffuse and normal maps, I opened the normal map in GIMP. Of course, feel free to use any photo editing tool you like. I imported the color map that contains the lights of the skin in order to know where exactly I should modify the normal map. The bottom two rectangles represent the lights that I want blinking, so I modified those. I selected the first one and gave it this green color, and then selected the second one and gave it this soft red, almost orange-like color. And that's it! With this new change saved, I created the TGA and VTF files. And now let's check the resulting game. If you come closer to a light source, you can see the effect clearer. And now we see the lights glowing one at a time depending on where the light is pointing at. And now that you know how to achieve the glowing effect, I have a bonus tip for you. The glowing effect is nice and cool, but it's meaningless if the rest of the skin is not well made. Always try to create a good skin and have the glowing effect be the cherry on the top. Be creative in how to use the effect so that it completes the skin and make the impression you are looking for. Thank you so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, if you have any questions, write them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer as soon as possible. Take care and see you soon.